Hey guys, and welcome back to the Jack and Daxter collection for the PlayStation 3 in it. Oh, it's for the PlayStation 3, not part of the PlayStation. I guess in a way it's part of the PlayStation 3. I mean, it's more for the PlayStation 2 history and all that, but it's the HD collection for the PS3, but anyway, last episode we finished off Jack 2. This episode we start Jack 3. Let's get into it. And everything, so yeah. Also, it's been a little while since I've done Jack and Daxter. I mean, it's been like a month since I uh, finished Jack 2-ish, about, roughly, maybe, I don't know. It's been a little bit. Uh, I mean, like I said, um, just, I also just finished, I was trying to finish up Sonic Adventure 2 before I start Jack 3, which I did. I mean, things like, because I did Jack 2 before the New Year's, or, be, yeah, I finished Jack, oh, before Christmas, I even. Like, I completed that. Jack 2 and upload review for Christmas. Uh, and then uh, I know I did, uh, then I just this past week or so finished uploading, finished uploading uh, Song of Adventure 2 for this past week and everything. So, anyway, I'll be quiet because I believe there's a cutscene right here too as well. So, I'll be quiet. Jack 3. Do this the pedal on? I hope not. By order of the Grand Council of Haven City, for heinous acts and crimes against the people, you are hereby banished to the wasteland for life. This is a death sentence, Vigor. There must be another way. Your protest was overruled. This dark eco freak is dangerous. Now drop the cargo. This is an outrage. I am outraged beyond words. Although I do have something to say. Not everyone agrees with this ridiculous decree. Yeah, we want a recount. Oh, I see you wish to join him. Actually, we are not that outraged. Farewell, Jack. Stay out of the sun. Drink lots of water if you can find it. Jack? Go back to the city, Dax. I'm sorry. The council is too powerful. There was nothing I... I know. You just stay alive, you hear me? That's an order. Someone will find you. I promise. May the precursors have mercy on you. Daxter! Don't thank me. I'm only here because you wouldn't last a second without me. Okay, tough guy. You got us into this mess. Now you gotta get us out. Ah, what a team we'll make. Let's just get moving. <sighs> but which way? That way! That way! Oh, and I suppose you know where you're going, huh? Better than you do, Bent Peak! Uh, let's just move. Ah, uh, Jack 3. Oh, wait, I guess it's still a cutscene. <laughs> My bad! This this is, I'm pretty sure this is a long cutscene. Stupid idea! No, it was yours! Only a bird brain could have thought this one up. Let's go with him! We'll help together! You mean we'll die together? I can't believe the city hates us. We saved those lowlifes. Jack, the city's divided. Reports say new crimson death bots are holding the vital section of the industrial area. My men are getting their asses kicked. The KG have a new leader. We're trying to find out who it is. I'm afraid I've got more bad news. A large group of surviving metalheads have concentrated in another section of the city. But we destroyed Core. It appears the strongest metalheads have survived. The battle for the city has just begun. The people are blaming you, Jack. <sighs> right. Good plan, Jack. A nap would be nice. Just a teensy little rest. Ah, this bird is overcooked. <coughs> the palace. Report! It's bad. The city's become a battlefield. Mechanized death bots have taken the industrial section, and the surviving metalheads have expanded their hold on the west side. We're losing ground on all fronts. The council's meeting tonight in emergency session. Rumblings about you, Jack. It doesn't look good. They think your friendship with crew helped the metalheads get into the city. You don't believe that, do you? What's in the past is done. 
Right now, metalheads are assaulting the palace. They're looking for something, and I have no idea. Some live ones. <laughs> Barely. Here's the beacon we were picking up. Who gave you this? We'll take them with us. Let's move. I smell a storm coming. Anyway, there is the, there is the title screen of Jack 3. Sorry, I was, I was waiting for that. I, I, forgot, I forgot how long this cutscene is. How long has it been so far? Six minutes? <laughs> Six minutes. Oh, wow. So you can see how long that. Well, I mean, we did. I mean, it did take a little bit to start the cutscene, but yeah, six minutes already in Jack Three, <laughs> and we haven't got, and we just got to the the start menu or the main menu. Anyway, let's new get, let's new game this. Yes, I have no save data anyway, so it's like it's not like that big of a deal anyway. But yeah, welcome to Jack Three, guys. Man, this game, this game's gonna be fun. It really, it really is. Like, I like this game better than Jack Two. Like, it's been a long, it has been a long time since I even recorded then Jack Three on my channel. Or not, just play Jack Three, not and everything. But anyway, here's cut scene anyway. I love water. Oh yes, it's so good. Desert dead. Well, you've come back from the dead, have you? And my monks were ready to pray for you. I am Damus, King of Spargus. Spargus? Wait, nobody lives outside Haven's walls. Not a whole city. Ah, yes. We are the Forgotten Ones. Haven City's refuse thrown out and left to die. Just as you were. But now that you have been saved, your life belongs to the people of Spargus. And we will use it well, if it's actually worth anything. Hey, that sounds like a bad deal. You are in no position to deal. Out here, everything is either useful or dead weight. Prove yourselves worthy, or the desert will be your grave. You need to work on making a better first impression. <laughs> In the unforgiving wasteland, we value strength and survival above all. We will see where you stand soon enough. Complete your training, then enter the arena. Just the bravest crawl out and are allowed to stay in Spargus. It's quite simple, really. Um, what happens to the ones that don't crawl out? Then it will be as if we never found you. Oh, I was afraid of that. Hail, all citizens of Spartus! Welcome to the Arena of Death, where we get to watch other people wet themselves in fear. These halls will once again test two newcomers, each fighting to prove their worth to stay among us. Let's hit it for Jack and his obnoxious talking animal! Pecker! There you are. Where were you? Demos says I am to be his new counselor. He says my wisdom will serve him well. Oh yeah, and uh, Demos also says that uh, you two are likely to die in the arena today. And he hopes your death is very... Uh... Will you stop that? Demos can talk for himself. He is right. You will most likely die. And yes, Pecker is my new advisor. Unlike you, some people appreciate my talents. It beats working for a living. I saw a few of the fights earlier. Ooh, not a pretty sight. Why, you little... Let the games begin! Alright. Man, that took... You know, like, this game, this game took a while to even start off. Like, man. But yeah, welcome guys back to Jack... In Jack 3. Or Jack and Daxter. But anyway, this is kind of a tutorial area. Don't know why they have a tutorial in the third game. It's like Sly 3, <laughs> basically. But yeah, basically it's, ba it's basically the same as Sly 3 where, you know, you just have all these guys like doing a tutorial. I don't, like, I don't get that. I mean, I get it maybe, be I, don't, I don't know. I sort of get it a little bit. But, uh, but yeah. <laughs> I mean, we only know how to play the game and stuff. We got, we had two games for it. Wait, why is it? Oh, that has to be L. I'll press R1 instead of L1. <laughs> My bad. Good, maybe I do need a tutorial after all. 
Okay, now okay, now we have to jump over there. Oh, if we can land it! Yes, we got it. Bam! Boom, 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 boom. Actually, this one we do have to do like that. Yep, like that. What is the... I still don't even know what the little... That one small means, but anyway. Boom, we're getting pretty close! We just go down there. Boom! You're like, this is pretty quickly. There's actually gonna, there's gonna be a lot of cutscenes in the beginning of the game, so... Yeah, there might be a lot of quietness in this episode, actually, so... There's also that. Also, we can fight some bad guys, too, in a minute. In an arena. But yeah, just, you know, there's just... I guess, I guess, I guess this is kind of the start to, well, Jack 2 is kind of the start to, you know, Naughty Dog's edginess or realism type. Well, I know Jack 2 is not really realism, but, you know, it started there and continued with Jack 3 a little bit. The candidates have won the challenge. That's right, we bad. You haven't forgotten what I taught you, Jack. Anyone can make a few measly jumps. Now let's see how you rate against the living. We adjust the matter forms. Prepare the arena for full combat. Prepare the arena for full combat. I just said that. I know, I was just adding, you know, how you do the thing with the... Anyway, prepare the warriors. You mean we, we have to fight against actual people? With actual weapons? Who actually will hurt us? Fine, bring them on. All right, that's it. I want to be on his shoulder. <laughs> Fire! And we got this guy already. Sweet, this amazing. Also, this game has uh, what was it? This game has more uh, oh my god, oh my god, has more uh weapons compared to uh Jack Two. There's actually upgrade weapons in this game compared to Jack Two. We had none. Oh my god! Ha <laughs> I got this. All right. Yeah, cause we can't upgrade. You can see the arrow button on the very top on the gun. It means that they, it means that we're gonna have uh was it upgrades which we don't have any right now of course. Bam! Hit that one. Bam! Bam! Also we also we got uh oh boy <laughs> oh boy get down there get down <laughs> I got gotcha. ya I got that gap there can we come over there no we can't bam. Oh, nice, he fell. <laughs> he fell! Uh, oh, I don't think so. I don't think so. I don't think so. Oh. Oh, nice. Oh, shoot. Bam! Wait, can we not Can we not do anything, pound? I guess maybe not. <laughs> nice. Oh, I don't think so. I love if we did the little... I always forget what button is sometimes. Yeah, we can't do the ground pound yet, sadly. Bam! We can do this, I guess. Uh. Oh! Oh, gotcha! Oh, gotcha again! <laughs> nice, man. We don't now. We need to get on the platform in time. Oh boy! I like how we dark geek right now. Our dark Jack right now. <laughs> oh yeah! We get now. We're gonna destroy him with dark Jack. Well, not really, but you know. He has been touched with dark eco, my leash. Our boy here gets all mean and nasty when you piss him off. So don't piss him off. Word to the wise. Ah, then he is dangerous, and that could be useful. Your bravery has earned you your first battle amulet. If you are victorious in two more arena fights, you will earn your citizenship to Spargus. Here is a gate pass to allow free passage in and out of the city. But beware. There is no true refuge outside our walls. The desert is less kind than I. And for your victory, a gun mod is your prize. Oh yeah, now we're talking. Hey, what do I get? Nothing, as usual. Hmm, okay. Last of mod received. Is that the other weapon? Awesome, we're like, see, we only got two weapons. Like, we're only this far in the game, and we got, like, two weapons. I mean, we're only this far in the first episode, and we got two weapons. Like, you get, like that's the nice thing about this game. You get the weapons a lot quicker than the, than the last game. Some sweet moves in the arena, boy. But a little more choke, and you would have popped, eh? You talking to me? Yeah! You talking to him? No. 
I'm conversing with me sweet departed mom. Of course you, you boarhead. You two are from the big smoke, eh? Who's asking? The guy who runs this place. That's who. Cleave is the name. You blokes stick with me, and I'll take care of you. In fact, I've got a job for you right now. Ride me leaper lizard here and catch a few of those little buggers that have been raiding me storeroom. Snag me six of them puppies, and I'll let you drive one of me racing vehicles. That is, if Amos ever lets you leave the city. I think we can handle that. No! I hate riding animals! You make me chafe. Now yeah, let's do this! But I can't believe we got a second left, and that's like amazing! I mean, only better! Basically. Okay, now we gotta chase these guys. Welcome to, uh, what's it? The city. Man, I just love this game, like, so much. Like, I mean, it's not Jack 1, but, you know, it's still pretty good. Like, like, it's always, I'm always having more fun of time in this game than I did, than I did, uh, what's it? Than I did, uh, Jack 2. Like there's like there's reasons there's a reasons there's reasons why I love this game a lot better than even Jack Two. <laughs> like I know I'm already writing a ton about Jack Two. You probably don't want to hear me, but you know. But we got these guys. We can eat. Look at that. Oh yeah. Okay, now we had to get those three other little things. But yeah, we're pretty similar. Yeah. I mean, I guess these guys look pretty similar to the flat flat in the first game. They kind of they kind of do. They kind of are basically the flat flat from the first game. Bam! Yeah, I don't want to dismount because the this lemur can't or the flat flat. I'm just calling flat flat. I'm call I'm calling rip off flat flat. He's not quite as good as you know the one from Jack One, but like I mean, basically is a flat flat, but he's not though. They don't call him that. But anyway, let's do it. Let's get the last two of those things. Also, also you have these. It's not this animal though, because this animal just has. Oh, that, that guy can't attack us, though. That, those guys can't actually attack us, though. The citizens of Spar Spargus. That's what it was, Spargus. But, uh, I know the Crimson Guard in this game, though. <laughs> What's up, level of that? I did like about that, that this game is. If I accidentally hit a Crimson Guard, they don't fire back. I'm like, Jack 2! Come on. We're almost there! Three. I know that, I know the citizens can fire at you, but, I mean, it, they're definitely a lot easier to deal with than the Crimson Guards in the first game. Oh, in the last game. Not first game, but the last game. Uh, BAM! Oh, come on. Come on. Come on. Come on! Yeah, we got gotcha. you! Ooh, this is thing. Or talk to this lady right here. If you can. Check out these funny dudes, huh? <laughs> nice threads. I didn't know rubber was back in. What are you working on, monk boy? It is none of your concern, animal. Look, coloring book. We've had a hard week. Don't push it. The arena shows all, dark one. Hate consumes your eyes. Great. Thanks for the tip. It will destroy you just as these precursors destroyed themselves. It doesn't look like any precursor crap we've seen. These artifacts are an abomination. One fell on the great volcano. We sent an expedition to the mountain, but my monks never returned. Ill tidings sing in the wind. I fear the remaking of the world is at hand. I think you've been out in the sun a little too long. Let's go, Jack. You must leave this place. Heroes think they can save the world when they themselves are lost. You could not possibly understand the dark forces at work here. Don't talk to me about dark powers. I want to know what this is. Stand back. I recognize that voice. Is that Terra Strong? That's that's the goal right there. Not like a shower. Any confirm that? Anyone who's watching just maybe confirm. I don't know. It just kind of sounds like her. But I know she does a lot of like voice work over like cartoons and stuff. I mean, that's all I know from. That's all I know about her. Is that. She voices, she's like some like basically the basically the big famous like lady that voices like like fifty animated characters or whatever over the years. Like especially for Court Court Court, Court, Court Network because I think she's like she's been ten. She's like she's one of the Powerpuff Girls and all that. Uh, Timmy Turner she's also is, so yeah. Oh, of course Timmy Turner's Nickelodeon not part of Network though, but you know I think that's why the goal that goal was. Still don't know who that character is in this game is, but you know. Anyway, what about you? Why? 
Is there a number I have to go? Oh, this is 75. That's easy. This is easy. This is easy. I guess because we're playing, this game's a lot easier than Jack 2, so it shouldn't be that hard. I mean, missed a single one. Can we do it without hitting, missing anything? Oh, we only can miss five, though, so, you know. Nice. Wow, that was easy. <laughs> First try! Exploded! Even you cannot save us from this hero. Hey, I'm the real hero here. You can call me Orange Lightning. <laughs> you may carry the color of our creator's animal, but we have plans to save ourselves. Stay out of our business. You and Orange Lightning are not welcome here. I know you called him Orange Lightning. Also, foreshadowing. Yeah, that goal just foreshadowed something that happens in the future. Well, as in future, as in, you know, the rest of the game. But anyway, I think this is going to be the end of this episode and all that. I mean, we got quite a bit of class stuff done. Those missions were pretty quick, so, I mean, after the first few missions or the beginning of the new game, we'll go we'll, out pretty quickly, but, I mean, there was, probably a lot, there was a lot of cutscenes in the beginning anyway. But anyway, and I'll see you guys in the next episode as we talk, I guess, talk, I think that's to the to the guy that we fought, fought the, you know, enemies at in the, or the Coliseum or Arena area at. Well, see you guys next episode of Green Covers Gaming. Bye-bye.